everyone. My name is Alex Frankel. I'm a program manager for Azure Blueprints. And today I'm going to be walking through uh, assigning a Blueprint definition to a subscription. If you watched my last video, you saw us walk through creating the Blueprint definition from scratch. Now we want to take that Blueprint and assign it to a subscription. So we're on the Blueprint Details screen. Uh, and the last thing that we did was save a Blueprint as a draft. But in order to use that Blueprint, we need to publish it. So we'll click Publish Blueprint, and we'll give this Blueprint a name. This Blueprint already has a 1.0 version and a 1.1 version, so we'll create a 1.2 version. And we'll give it some change notes, call it Basic Blueprint, and click Publish. Now we have our new published Blueprint, so we'll go into the same screen and click Assign Blueprint. Once we're on the assignment page, we have a few fields to fill out in basics, and then we have some fields to fill out for our artifact parameters. So first thing we need to do is decide which subscription we're going to assign this Blueprint to. So we'll open up this dropdown, and these are all the subscriptions that are within the management group uh, where this Blueprint is saved. In other words, these are all the subscriptions that are eligible to be assigned. So we'll click this Contoso IT subscription. We can leave the default assignment name. We have a location here. This is a location that we use for something called a managed identity. And what we do is we create a special identity that is the one that's actually deploying all of the resources. So you don't have to create this identity or manage the identity, but you do need to provide a location for where this identity is going to live. We'll then choose the Blueprint Definition version. We'll it defaults to the latest, and we'll just leave it as is. And then the last field in basics is locking the assignment. If you'd like, you can turn on this lock. And what that's going to do is, after the resources are deployed, we will add a lock to it. And that will prevent anyone in this subscription from modifying those resources. If you need to make a change to any of those resources, you can update the Blueprint definition and then update the corresponding Blueprint assignment. And then the last piece is artifact parameters. As you can see here, there's no parameters that I need to fill out. But if there were any uh, parameters, for example, if we didn't specify the name of this resource group, we would have to fill that out now before we could assign the Blueprint. But everything is already filled out, so we can just click Assign. By clicking Assign, we'll start the assignment process. And when this returns as successful, that means the process has been started. Now, all these resources will still need to get deployed, and that will take a few minutes. So we'll check back when this blueprint is finished being assigned.